This is it. According to you guys and according to Crunchyroll or Verb, the, this is the end of East Blue. We have made it past our first saga in One Piece. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus or I Shinobi. We're here today with episodes 55 and 61. Now, a lot of you told me that there's like a mini filler arc in between this, and I'm actually going to watch it in my free time afterwards. But for now, we're just going to be covering canon stuff in these, this, this two like kind of quick reaction. I'm only going to be watching like the first half of this one, the last half of 61, and then we will be done with this first saga. But that being said, we're gonna hop right into it. If you're new to the channel, drop us up, hit that big boy bell so we see future episodes. We're still just getting started on this journey together. And let's hop right into this bad boy. It should be crossing the grand line soon. This is how he gets food. Oh, oh. <laughs> there's a child. She looks important too. I'm guessing she has to do with like the couple episodes after this. Oh my. How did Zoro get back on board so quickly? So I was told that these couple episodes were important to watch solely based on like the world building aspect of it. Oh wow, they zoomed out of there. Oh my gosh, literally zero wind. God, her eyes look so cursed. So calm. Oh man. Why can they not hear anything? Wait, that is actually terrible, though. I don't know, how are they supposed to get moving? And further south. Dude, they were right there. What, the, did the Navy really get in the way that hard in front of them entering the Grand Line? Yeah, no, they haven't crossed yet. Oh. They have to make it past the calm belt, too? What a bait! It's so ironic that outside of this area that's so chaotic, the Grand Line, there's two calm belts. Oh, man. I bet a lot of people get, like, basically, like, pirates run up on them here, too. Especially being right outside the Grand Line. What is going on here? Are those just fish? Oh, no, those are huge. Never mind. It put it into perspective. Dude, they're enormous! Oh, yikes. I mean, we've seen these giant creatures, especially in the first intro of the show. Are those eyes? Oh, that's so cursed. Oh, they're all sea creatures. Oh. Wait, why are there so many? Are they traveling in a pack? The sea kings? Are those all creatures? They all just chill here? Okay, this may, if this is the world building aspect, I was told that, that I could stop this episode once they get to the island. Like, it's not that far in either, supposedly. I guess these giant creatures are important. They think the boat is empty? Oh, they're on top of, I just realized. Okay, that little girl is dead. So all of these creatures, all these sea kings just go around together, just terrorizing people in this calm belt. No, it's just naturally talented. Oh. Wait, she saw it's like nose hole. Is that like how she wants them to get like, like trajectory? What is she doing? Ew! What? This thing is gonna sneeze and like project them, like throw them off. That is so gross, dude. Just pulled an entire hair off. Hey, she did what she had to do. Actually, five head too. That kid is insane. Although they could have probably died from falling down like this. And the question is, is it gonna send them the right way? <laughs> hey, not the first time they've flown a ship in this show thus far. I mean, not this ship, but you know what I mean. Nice. Well done. Look at her. She's so proud of herself, as she should be. The Grand Line. Oh, what is Warship? Oh, is that where they're... Are they, like, taking her there? I'm guessing they, like, rescued her in the last one. <laughs> so talented. <laughs> I was told I could stop once we get to said island. A sailboat? Oh no, it's just straight up an island. Oh my gosh, Luffy. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so that is that is all that I, I've been told that I need to watch of this one. Of course, like I said, I'm going to watch the, the in-between little couple episodes in between this. But we're going to skip over it for the video so you don't have to sit through it and we'll just get to 61. 
I'm guessing like they do what they need to do with this island, rescue her and everything, and then they leave. And I hope off to the Grand Line, but I, I guess it wouldn't be uh, one piece if they didn't have some problems getting there still. The red line? Does that like signify? I thought the lighthouse did. <laughs> Use his foot. Sawi Luffy. So much mystery, dude. I'm so excited. Rumors about... Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. Didn't they mention that? How do they get the ship, like, to the other side, then? Oh. Go up it, like, with the ship? Oh, that is so sketchy, dude. Yeah. There has to be some way. But also, they don't make it easy getting into the Grand Line. What is happening? Why is he struggling? Oh, the rudder. Okay. He's trying his best, dude. Why is it so stuck? I think they need to be a little bit more worried about this. Yeah. He said it with the exact same inflection. What is with Luffy in this class? Wait, like the current goes up? No shot. Reverse mountain? I don't think that you can move it. I think you're just stuck in this path to the Grand Line now. You go up it and then... Oh my gosh. Bro, that is sick though. Then you just drown. Dog, that is hardcore. Again, fitting for the Grand Line, but still. I feel like every island or mountain in this show is going to be like, oh, this whole mystery that you slowly unravel, peel like an onion. Then you should probably get like, check on it now. Like nobody's out there looking right now. Like dies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Only people really meant to be there. Yeah, makes sense. Oh, dude, I'm so giddy. I'm so excited. I don't see the mountain yet. <gasps> there it is, I think. Well, yeah, if, if you go up it and then like in a in a sort of current, it looks huge on the map. The red line. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is going to be absolute chaos to manage. I can already tell. Just a whirlpool right outside the entrance. I feel like it's like this 24 seven here too. Is somebody gonna do something? Luffy's just bouncing around. Yeah, for real. I don't even, I don't see a single, I feel like the canal is gonna be super thin. That's it? Doc, you gotta be joking. Dude, that is so cool though. Wait, it goes like vertically. How is that even possible? The current is that strong? What if your ship was like enormous? You wouldn't make it through. What, you just gotta like build a bigger one on the other side? I feel like that rudder would be absurdly impossible to even move. They've gotta make it. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Balloon! Oh, shoot! My man giving himself for the ship as he should as a captain! What an absolute unit. Bro, he's gonna drown. How does he get back to the ship? Just stretch his arms? Okay, they actually did it. With a broke rudder, bro. We're about to see it, dude. The Grand Line. We're, we're almost there. Somebody help this man. Oh. Uh, who was that? Did somebody stole away or was that Sanji or Usopp? Wait. Who's on board, bro? Sicko Fruit? Was he from like the short filler arc? <laughs> was he like the villain of it? I feel like this man is about to be made an example out of and just fall off. There's a fruit called a Sicko Fruit? Wind slashes. That's what his power is. Well, now I have to watch those episodes. That sounds like content. Are they really like this caught off guard? Can they can't do anything? Oh my gosh. Boom! Bye. Yeah, that dude is dead, dead. <laughs> Nobody else thought of that? Oh. 
I'm really curious as to like the ratio of number of like devil fruits in the world and like how many people actually have them or have the powers of one. I feel like that that kind of perspective has been kind of made clear like it's rare, but it's not like so rare that it's like mind blowing to find someone with the powers. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. So what, does it go just back down or does it just shoot you out into the grand line? I feel like that'd be so appropriate if it did. Oh no, it goes back down. It's galore. Oh yeah, they said it's like winter at the top. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Usopp, bro. What a shot, dude. Oh man, <laughs> this poor ship, man. They've already jumped it so many times. All their, all their, their dreams, their goals, their ambitions. And to be king of the pirates. Let's go! We made it, baby. We freaking made it. Now, how close is it exactly? The one piece is ahead. How far ahead is the real question. And that is it for east blue an absolutely spectacular ride thus far i'm enjoying myself i'm sure you guys can tell one piece has really caught me off guard man i mean just like the storyline in general i know everybody's always talked about the world building but i get it now it's already set up so many characters that have created mystery and whatnot surrounding them for them to return and it has very meticulously set up all of these characters dreams and goals some better than others like i think zoro's is the one i'm most interested in right now i think luffy's is like more overarching than everybody else's but nonetheless what a spectacular entrance into the grand line ladies and gentlemen that's been it for episodes 55 and 61 drop a comment down below what you thought of the episode let me know if you thought of the grand the grand line entrance in general and just east blue how does east blue stack up to the rest of the show for you is it a good introduction into one piece and as always i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day as per usual i'm gonna catch you in the next one peace peace